assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer so in today's video we are going to talk about some of the general improvements that has been added in Odoo 18 so the first thing is that Odoo has improved the URL so it is now more readable and more secure so for example if you go to the sales module and uh, if you want to see the orders so it will show you that uh, you are in the Uru orders and if we click any order it will show you the ID of that order so it is more secure you don't know what is the model name uh, which is uh, like good from the security point of view and now if you want to activate the debug mode you just need to hit question mark and then debug is equal to one and just hit enter so it will uh, activate the debug mode for you so the next point is that uh, if you want to see the technical detail so the debug menu is revamped so here you can see the data related to the records like metadata and messages attachments and here is the user interface you can see the model uh, if you click here you will see the detail of this model form you fields filters all these things and also security related things okay so another feature in, uh, introduced in Udo 18 is related to the uh, customers or contacts uh, module. So here uh, they have introduced a new feature uh, with like you can search with the address of uh, the customer. So, so let me just search it uh, based on uh, United States. Okay. United States. So it will uh, only show you the sorry United States address so it will show you the customer only for this uh, country and uh, this is very useful and another thing is that uh, this search is persistent so if i move to any other uh, menu for example if i go to the products okay and then if i decide to go back to the same menu i can just right click and go back and once I go back, you will see the, the search is already there. So it is persistent. I can also move to some other uh, menus and then again to other menus. And still I can come back again to the previous one, uh, like here. And the, the search will show the same way. Okay. Now, uh, the next point is that uh, there are added some uh, improvements related to the editor so if we go here and let me open this editor so some shortcut keys has been added so if you want to just add the list uh, okay so you can just add a shortcut key like a one and then dot and space so it will automatically add this list for you uh, for example list like this okay and uh, you can also uh, generate a list with some other uh, values for example a and then uh, this bracket and then hit enter so it will generate the list for you like for example let me remove this a and then this so it will generate the list for you like this so these are the some uh, commands that has been added and here uh, these are also available on the button click also so another useful thing that has been added is uh, related to the ai so the ai feature has been added to the uh, to this editor and here you can ask for any question uh, and the AI it will generate the answer based on the AI okay so the other thing is related to this uh, editor is that um, translation has been added for example if I add some text here okay so uh, and if I select it uh, it uh, will uh, show me this option which will make uh, which enable us to uh, add some translation like it will translate the, uh, the text in the language that you have on the profile so for example if something is in arabic and you click the translate button it will translate this thing in english because my language selected is english okay so uh, another feature that has been added is uh, related to the email templates so let me just quickly go to the settings and then uh, email templates email templates so let me try to create an other email template so in the previous version it was very difficult to add the placeholders uh, dynamically so for example if i want to add the name of the contact 
uh, let me just uh, add here for example make it test and then i want to make it for contact okay and here i want to mention the name of the contact so in order to do so you can just uh, click this a uh, dynamic placeholder and it will automatically open this uh, view and here you can search for example i want to add the name okay and this here you can add optionally like what should be printed if uh, there is no name so you can just add and then insert like this okay and the same way you can uh, add something else uh, let me just uh, print the country okay and then uh, you can add demo country like this and then insert okay so if i want to see the preview and let me just select here uh, the contact so here you can see it is changing so here uh, it says resort country because it is uh, bringing the country record we can add uh, the name of the country uh, i am i added the country id therefore it is bringing this thing so another important thing is that you can uh, uh, you can sort the records based on the occurrence so for example if i add uh, a group by customer and here uh, we can see like i want to see the most uh, the the customer with the most uh, quotations so i just need to go here and then click here so it will show me the uh, sales or the customer with the most sales order at the top and if i want to the other way i can see it so these are the some uh, features general features that has been added in Udo 18 if you uh, find this video useful please uh, hit the like button subscribe to the channel uh, also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you